Hello guys, just a quick video on the importance of Mortis ID uh, for when drilling. This is really important when you're drilling because you need to know exactly what lock and where the drill points are. Okay, so case in point, uh, we've got the fortress there, everyone knows the fortress now. Red lock, nipple either side, 5 gauge, hard plate running across the lock top, fortress in it. Well, not necessarily because this is one I came across over there, so as you can see, red. High plate across top, nipple either side, 5 gauge, okay, but this is an ERA Invincible, the red colour one. Yeah, uh, one second, there we go, so if I put this together next to the Invincible, so this is a Union Strombolt I came across, and if you can see it's really weather worn, so you wouldn't actually know whether there was nipples there or not, so if you put them two next to each other side by side, they are practically the same lock. Just a slightly different colour red, if you can see that. And that's a Union Strand Bolt, and that's an ERA Invincible. So yeah, really, really important. Uh, our IID locks normally first is by the gauge, okay? Uh, 5 gauge, 7 gauge, 8 gauge, whatever, 5.5 .5 gauge. Uh, then by colour, okay? And if you can't do it by colour, because like for instance this one, if you look through the keyhole, it'll just look fucking brown. Take the handle off. Take the handle off and chisel a little bit away, uh, and you're you're always going to get the colour of the lock. Okay, so yeah, gauge, colour. Then I go for discerning features like high plate. Uh, so you know, high plate straight across it. Uh, secure fast. You've got high plate running round it. Okay, uh, leggy. Where it goes at the side of it there, and it's got like a beveled keyway. Uh, yeah, so there's loads of little factors that you need to uh, take into account. Obviously, you've got mortis ID books, which will help you identify locks uh, but you need to be 100% before you drill absolutely 100% because uh, I'll give you a quick one uh, when I first started I came across a lock right hand mounted uh, thought it was a Chubb 3G114 I did all the necessary checks measured the keyway everything yeah Chubb 3G114 boom I've gone to drill, drill for the bolts it wasn't a Chubb 3G114 it was the 114E which has a completely different drill point Okay, so I've ended up drilling in the wrong fucking place. And the thing is, when you're drilling from the right hand side and you're having to go through the bolt and shit like that, if you don't get it spot on, it makes it even harder just to turn the bolt, okay, with the curtain, you know, because the metal's beveled into it. Uh, so yeah, make sure you get your drill points 100% uh, correctly. Uh, so I'm gonna move on now to an ERA Fortress, one of the very first locks I ever drilled just to show you how I do it from the left hand side and the right hand side. So this was one of the first ever locks that I had to drill guys. Uh, so you can use a, a template guide uh, and this is what I did on this lock. Uh, to be honest, I don't really rate them that much. Uh, you're better off finding your own drill points that you're happy with uh, because although I managed to get through the hard plate and you can see the levers, uh, I can't see the edge of the stump. Okay, so my preferential way is when you get to, when you can see the edge of the stump and you know the rest of the levers that's when you know how high to lift all the levers for the stump to pass through the gate so <clears throat> these old fortresses are a bit of a pain in the ass okay so this is why i did have to end up drilling it so what we're going to do is just show you how it's done so you can see i've grabbed the stump there uh so if you can get yourself a nice thin screwdriver sometimes it'll work sometimes you have to lift each lever individually it just depends how they're all set, so all we're going to do is bury our way into them, try and lift them all up, and this is the problem I had. Uh, I couldn't see the edge of the stump to see how high I needed to lift over levers, so let me just do that again. Go on, you little fucker. See, I'm over lifting the levers, I can tell that. Still can't see the stump, so it's been a bit of a pain in the ass. There we go. So finally, I got it. And you can see the stump passing through. Okay, guys. So you can see I didn't need to lift the levers hardly any. Uh, and this is why it's better off finding your own drill points rather than just relying on templates because they try and uh, get too many locks into one point, if you will. So they'll have like 10 drill points on this credit card thing and it'll say number one will cover... I don't know, Fortress, Viscount, blah de blah de blah, basically all the era locks, and that's not true, in my opinion. Uh, some era locks, the, the drill point has to go a bit further back, okay? So there we can see the bolt passing through, okay? There we are. 
lots up with them. So let's do that one more time for viewers in cheap seats. So in, grab the bolt, okay? And if you can use a screwdriver, sometimes it's not possible. You do have to use a pick and lift each uh, lever individually. Uh, right now it's been a bit of a pain in bomb, but we'll persevere. Go on, get in. I think I've lifted them now. There we go, we've got it. So but you can imagine how fiddly this is in a door at night. You've got one little hole to look through with your torch. It can be a pain in the air body. All right, guys, so that's that lock. Uh, left hand mounted, drilling for the gate. Let's show one right hand mounted. As you can see, this is a, an ERA Invincible, okay? So this is another one I've done on a job. Uh, bolt side, okay? Uh, again, when I first started out and I couldn't pick the lock, you know, it's, 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 a, you know, it's a catch-22. How long do you sit there with the customer trying to pick the lock uh, before eventually you have no option but to drill the lock? You know, personally, I like to give it as long as possible. Sometimes you can gauge it off the customer's reaction, okay? So... Now, if I do have to drill the lock on the right hand side, I will always just drill for the bolt. It just makes your life so much easier. Because unlike the left hand side, where you can see the levers and go for the gate, obviously on the right hand side, you have to drill through the hard plate and the bolt just to get to the lever pack, okay? So this can make things really tricky, all right? So we're gonna try and do the same thing again. So, there we go. Let you flip it on, sorry if my hand's in the way. In fact, it is going to be in the way there. Let me just sort my shit out if I can do. That's all, so I apologise for the uh, British bulldog uh, snoring in the background. So, yeah, so this one, I think, yeah, you have to actually use the picking arm to get all the levers up. It's, it's uh, the the, bit that the bolt gets in the way of trying to get down with your screwdriver and then okay so i'm just going to reposition the camera and i'll have to show you how we work with three hands all right guys yeah so i'm gonna have to put the uh, pick wire in and try and lift each lever so the sausage each lever individually uh so it can be very troublesome because basically you have to have three hands if i can get my fucking pick wire in excuse me Oh, stop being a fucking dick. There we are. Yeah, so basically you lift each lever in turn, get your screwdriver in, move along, lift them, move along, lift them until you can get them all. Uh, I think I've got most. I think I've got them there. There's the one at the back. There's fucking one at the back. Ugh, and you heard them all drop that down. <laughs> uh, such is life. So you can go. Now you can imagine how much of a pain in the ass this is on a real life job. Doing it. So you're basically picking it two handed, one handed, sorry, while you're trying to. Get the screwdriver in. There you go. You go. You look fuck. I got you finally. Last one. Come on. I can see you. It's being a bugger. Let me see if I can just bury it. No, I don't want to risk it. Risk it for a biscuit. I've already dropped another one. And as you can see. It is a pain. Come on, lift up, you fucker. Got you. Finally got them, so what we're going to do... Take our picking arm out, look for the stump. Okay. Take your screwdriver out. And we have the bolt. So you can see how much harder it is going for the lever pack on the right hand side. So I'll take it from me, just drill for the bolts, drill for the stump, sorry, uh, when it's right hand mounted. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching that video. <sighs> I'm 
Fucking hell, I'm out of breath. Hey, 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 take care.